It's a shame. If you have nothing good to say, why not keep that? Actually, God will show you mercy. It's already seen when we think of people in a negative way and light. But God will show us a greater mercy if we don't even take it to that person's face. You know why young girls are not coming out online here no more? The young girls that are coming from poor homes. She's in grade 12, grade 9. She's in high school after. She sleeps with married men for a lifestyle. Do you know why? Her classmates, the way they talk to her. That's why we pray for Mwone with Sharon all the time. That Apostle Mwone will never feel like she's poor. And most of the people whose children or most of the women and men online here who are playing rich lifestyle is the most poor people. A poor man's child whose mama has forgotten to train right is sending other people's children to grave. Abortions. The girl could have kept that child. God gave this little girl, this child, as much as he's angry, but that child is a breakthrough one day in life. They bully her at school in a way that these days it's common to have abortion instead of keeping the child. All from bullying. My black sisters, my TikTok sisters, you have created your TikTok accounts to send others to the grave. The God of Abraham wants you to come here. Because anybody who came here with an agenda of sending another man's child or moves with the spirit of sending other people's children to the grave, the Lord said he's sending you to Gehenna where you belong. You are going to hell. When you come here with that nonsense, it's your last station. The Lord said it's your last trip. If you're a witch, you are flying. This is your last flight. It's a shame. It's a shame. I'm ashamed of us, my sisters. I'm ashamed that four years now, almost, I'm crying about one thing. Your comments. And I wish you knew that that scripture is for you. There is a way that seemeth right to man, but its ending leads to destruction and death. Do you think it was right? Because God will not allow you to write a comment. Some of you, the comments you write, you see me, you can see me, I'm real, I'm live. But some of these comments, people are writing comments to little girls, little innocent children. Little innocent children are the ones you're writing comments to. You don't know how old the person is behind the computer. We're killing little children, sending them to any grave. I know that this generation has more spilled blood hmm? than the generation of no. You can say that again, my sister. Sitting in fake accounts, tormenting people. Some of you, you are even friendly with the same people that you torment online. They just don't know you, that it is you. Can you imagine the way me and Sharon are close, that I will be tormenting Sharon online? Eh? Does it make sense? And I see a comment from a sister here, and I know she, she means well, but it's ignorant. She said, just continue to preach the gospel and take the insults. Where in the Bible did it say take the insults? And we're not talking about insults. And as a mother, when I hear you tell me, take the insults, my sister, if you, you can take the insults, words don't cut you. You know people are cutting throats with necks, cutting their throats with knife here because of words. And God will say what? My sister, be a real daughter of God. Don't write rubbish here. If you're writing out of your emotion, keep your emotion to yourself. Those of you who are mean, you have no conscience. Hello. You have no sympathy. You have no kindness. He don't care what you say to people. That's why you say keep taking the insults. Me, I can take the insults up. It was called for the calling. But I'm not talking to me. I'm talking to all of you. And if you're a woman and a mother, you can't write that comment. Will you tell that sister whose child killed herself because of those comments? 
And how many girls and boys will have to die before we take cyberbullying in Africa seriously? How long? Here abroad, they have even initiatives. They are talking to people about cyberbullying. How long in Africa we are dying every day and you don't even know that it is actually comments online? I have seen it too much from my own country in Zambia. They have bullied people to a place, to a place where people have died and they think it was a normal day. Every time somebody look, the sister who writes that we should let people insult us, I want all of us to close our eyes as we close, and we're going to continue more with this preaching because we're going to get deep into it. It's about character and what is the end game and the end point of everything. I want to ask all of you, how will you live your life if you know that somebody out there in the world took their life after the very last message you sent them? They're not weak. The power of life and death is in the time. If you tell somebody they are mad, they look like they need the psychiatric evaluation, you are writing that on social media, and all of you are giving opinion and ideas of one another. Oh, yes, uh, I think she's sick. Oh, she doesn't look healthy. Oh, she looks dirty. Oh, this, that. Oh, he's this and that. I want to ask you, if all of you do that to one person, words don't hurt to you, eh? but that person... Do you know what they are going through in their lives? When people are wearing simple clothes because they cannot afford clothes. Let's say somebody is going through poverty in their life. Life is hard. They can't even buy a new t-shirt, a new pair of underwear. They want to come online here or they want to live their life. And then all of you are making fun of them. Wouldn't it hurt more because that person did not choose to be in that condition? So how people justify their own suicide is, God, you know I am poor. Why would your servant of God come and make fun of me? And it's not just people killing people. Like, even servants of God are changed. The way you moved, sent somebody to the early grave instead of salvation. Oh, Imavrao, what will you tell God? I want you to, to, to answer this question. If somebody is suffering like I was testifying with things here, they already were carrying a lot of baggage in them, my sisters. I live in Europe. I'm not suffering. I choose to wear what I wear. It's a choice since I met God. I'll take time to show you when my, my old picture, uh, computer is fixed. I'll take time to show you how I lived in Europe before and how I was looking. But this is, is all because of God. Even my family knows it's since I met God. I've always been natural, but I've turned my life completely for God. And I'm comfortable. I bath, I iron my clothes, and I wash myself. I apply myself. If somebody is looking a certain way, let's take me, and then they are going through hardship, they are suffering, and then somebody go put them on Facebook, tag them, and uh, uh, plaster them online. They say, look at how this one is looking. If that person is facing problems where they are coming from, what is the quickest answer? Where is Kat? Kat Kut? Kuto. Mwe Auto. Ash Blift. I'm asking, answer me. Suicide is easy. And this is how African people are dying. And it's like a joke in the African society and home. But that's why in my father's home, I tell my sisters every day, they should better watch their words. How you receive words, you bully, you troll. You have no heart because you are a demon, a spirit. The body is separate from the person. I'm talking to you, demon. Words don't do nothing to you. And that's why it didn't matter. But words can cut deep.
coming from somebody who almost took her life three times because of online. I never experienced such, I don't even know what to call it. If I didn't have Jesus, I would have gone. I have experienced it from my own country, but also from the body of Christ. How they can devour me apart. And I'm human, I read it. So you are one person. All of you are attacking one person online. And some of you even bring your friends to come and join you, tagging people. How are you going to live the rest of your life knowing that your words made somebody take their own life? People might not know. God knows. God knows. Mothers are bullying fellow mothers that they are leaving children without mothers out here. I know of four mothers who have committed suicide because of how black women treat each other. The last one in her voice note before she killed herself, she said, I don't know how to get to black people. When you cry, you are weak. When you, when you ask for help, you are stupid, you are foolish. Everything with black people is never right. And when you accept that you are poor, you want to live a simple life, it's also a problem. Where is a safe place for black people? Black people, we suffered slavery. Slavery left us. But slavery is not even painful. What the white people did to us is nothing but what a black woman do to me consistently every day. I tell it to God. He knows. Oh, you are like me. But you make it hard to love you. And you all know how to ruin one of you when one of us wants to stand like this. Oh, because you are with a white man, now you start like this. No. We've always been like that even in Africa. But because in Africa it is meant to be like, like animals, black people, it's like we're meant to be animals. I cried listening to that voice note. She said, I take my life. She didn't care about her children. She said, these women have hurt me so much. So as a black woman, do you think I stand proud? Proud for what? Tell me about it. Proud? And then when you think of it, and I say, God of Elijah, when I go look trouble from somebody you don't know, nobody asked you, it was not even needed. Why, sister? Why? And some of you, then when people die, still, no compassion, no sympathy. Me, I'm a savage. I used to be a savage, let's say that. I'm a savage still to say that. But one thing is, I have compassion of Jesus in me. It never left me. And I had to keep it because I received a great multitude of how black women can break you. Black women, you break one another. And the most sad thing is when you see Kenyan women join Kenyan women to go and bully a Zambian woman. And then the Zambian woman go come and join them to bully that same Zambian woman. What's wrong? And when we ask why you bully people, it's none of your business, nothing to do with salvation, and for sure God never sent you there. Sister, why are you there? Sister, why are you there? Because this thing when I do, it did not bring any blessings to the kingdom of God. Now you've got blood on your head. Just because words don't hit you, it hits others different. And some of you need to be very careful with this comment you write out here. Children are making fake accounts with fake age. The reason why they are cutting, catching pedophilias online with children is because even our children are making fake accounts. As you are typing and talking about a people and writing evil things to us people, I want you to remember one thing. It might be a five-year-old. The latest case in America, is it the seven-year-old girl who hung herself because of class bullying? Get women are sending each other from seven years. Their mama cry. 
But she cried in a way that so much anger because if she look at the people who make her begin, seven year old daughter kill herself, it's also seven, six, eight year old, nine year old, ten year old. What she go do? Double loss for both parents. A child that is going to be left with a record that they killed at an early age and one that is in the grave that will never come back again. And black women, you are still walking out here like we are something. <laughs> And you don't want you don't want this preaching. Just sing for us. This one is not opposed to the Lord. Didn't send me to send this one. Eh? But these are the things that has really hurt the God of heaven. Since I started ministry, there are things the Holy Spirit has opened up to me. These things hurt him a lot. And God has allowed me to meet women who have buried children. Because of comments. Simple comments. And that's why my favorite scripture is, there is a way that seemeth right to man, but leads to destruction and death. And some of you, that death will not be for the people you prepare. You go find warrior people, children out here, warriors of the Lord, like me. Send suicide for my son. Send it for him, because that's what you do with your comments. That there is a way that seemeth right to man, but leads to destruction. Proverbs 14, verse 12. Hello? Say it to my sons. The same way the God of Abraham knows that those children are the only family I have here in Europe. I tell the God of Isaac, any man that want to bury them for me, who allow the spirit of suicide to enter them, I bring it in my house. I bind them, Lord. May they live in that destruction where they are. It is theirs. I don't order people's children's death here. I'm very conscious. Sometimes I speak deep and in paravents. But I try to live my life for Jesus and I try to raise my children to not send another man's child to destruction, to steal, to lie, to do anything that is not God pleasing. You won't come for mine like that. If you come in my home, me who praise Jesus on the street, just know. That the God of Abraham will not allow it. He will not. He didn't allow that before to happen. But God allows certain things. Because that what God allowed. Is your payment of how you will live your life. It, it might not hurt now. You're going to catch up with it. Because whatever you plant. Shall be the fruit. That you have to eat for. I pray you get the word of God. Nothing personal. Stay obedient and spiritual because then you will grow. Because spirituality is character. Hmm? I pray you remember that. Let's close. My YouTube went off a long time ago. And in church, if they were preaching to you like this, instead of sowing tithe and seed, you would fear God. Because a lot of you, you give seed and tithe to God. But God don't see you. And when I say see you, he don't chill with you like that. Because you see the way you give tithe. You think it's an exchange with God. I give God tithe, he gives me his service of spirit. But if you knew that it's a personal relationship with God, then some of you would not be writing those comments. Because some comments, when you see the way people write comments, even to this Nigerian celebrity that people don't like online, Kora Obidi, the way some people write comments, you even know. And that's why when I came to warn that woman, three years now ago, Sharon is my witness. She didn't believe me. And that's why it's us who are online here. If you are not doing God, you are not saving God, you need to be very careful. Because what the devil does when you're online here, if he wants to kill you, he uses strangers and he uses them in form of comments. Because when people are commenting, it's chanting the power of life and death. People who don't know you cannot write such wicked things to you. It has to come from somewhere. Where is it coming from? The devil. Praise the Lord. Somebody give the Lord a clap. Oh. Give him a clap and tell him that we thank him for this day. Let me go home, my brothers and sisters.
My husband has missed me now. Let me go home and cook for my family. Praise the Lord. Amen. We need the truth. We need the truth. And we need men of God to teach. Not take the Bible and read scriptures to fashion people. Preach the truth. Take the Bible and tell them how it means in our way of life, in how we live. Because this thing of commenting, me when I see a bad comment, I rejoice for one thing. I want to get to somebody. You know why I want to get to you? You don't care about life. You don't care about yours. The same way you don't care about yours. Not the same way you want to treat others like that. But others care about themselves. That those words that you, you put in their life is like a dagger. And the spirit of witchcraft. Because if somebody is a stranger to you and they look dead, what does it benefit you if you tell them they are dead? And how does it concern you? How, how is it going to bring any blessing? And if you say, for example, like for today, I was making noise. This is a park. If I'm in my flat, remember people used to come and say rubbish. Eh? You are in the flat, you are making noise. Even my neighbors, they started to complain. There's only one downstairs, but now we are good. They were complaining, hey, noise like that. Hello? I go and carry my peace, leave. But I'm asking you, my sisters, this thing where you don't know people, but you see it on Facebook, and you write a comment, and you read it, and you press send. When you write those comments, I like to encourage you, read it seven times. Ask yourself, how would you feel if somebody wrote that and said that to you? And then also, too, as you ask yourself, because some of you don't care because how you treat yourself, only God knows, because you have allowed the devil to use your life like a weapon of destruction. Think about it. And also think, is this person having any mental spirit in their life? Because there are some people, mental, mental illness is a spirit. The devil wants it in their life to help them to suicide. Jesus is the deliverer. They just need you to tell them, you are mad. And when you tell people you are mad, they need evaluation. Sister, the God of Abraham says you are a false witness. You have never trained to be a doctor. You have never been called to, to evaluate people, diagnose people like that. So where you get the power to speak over somebody that they are mad, this and that. And then if you go about it, is madness a blessing? Does the God of Abraham give madness? The God of Abraham never gives madness. The Holy Spirit taught me the only way people have madness is because they play with it in the tongue. Every time you're calling people, you'll be mad, you'll be mad. Let me tell you one thing. If that person is not going to get mad, that madness is coming back in your home and in your life. And then with the God of Abraham, he's asking, now madness, mental psychosis, is it a spiritual gift? And why you like it so much for your friends online? Anybody who saved Jesus or is different from you people, nah, mad, 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 mad. You see the madness that is going on in your generation. You play with mad. The God of Abraham died for madness to not touch you. Now you generation, who someone mad, mad. You are chuckling. Why, sister? And somebody you don't know. That's the first thing you thought of. Are you sure, my sister, the God of Abraham, who knows that you, who is a villager like me, who don't even know how to use phone well, well, from A up to Z, your best help for writing is Google and Siri. So, would the God of Abraham say you don't know somebody? That's why me, I don't call nobody mad. No, since I met Jesus, that's the first thing he learned me. I've got three sons. None of my grandchildren will receive madness because somebody in our family was running with madness, giving other people madness out here. The power of life and death is in the tongue. The same way that Delilah spirit wanted the head of John the Baptist. I preached the same message, Apostle Moni and Sharon, you know. I preached the gospel of Jesus. The same Delilah spirit that wanted the head of John the Baptist. She did not write a letter or commitment to. It was only words that she spoke. And really those words came to pass. So how many of us have got words out here that are dingling in the air? 
And when you see family stagnation, some things you accuse the enemy, oh, it's the enemy who has blocked me. No, my sister, some things is the trees we planted, the fruits they come out. It's not nice anymore. Eat it, sister. You water that thing too long. Eat it. The truth is bitter, but let it set us free. Eat it. Open your mouth really wide and eat it. If you are your own enemy, eat them. You play with married women, married men. You even make married women lose BP. You talk to them on the phone anyhow. Whatever is coming to you, eat it. Eat it. It's not that you'll be a wife who's going to deal with a man that shall cheat in and out. Or you will never ever become a wife. It's God to choose. But don't be doing out here like the God of Abraham did you wrong. No. The gospel that is out here, now gospel that is comforting us too much. We are the very people who say we have the gospel in us, but actually are hurting people the most. You are a daughter of God and you are still a psychic. You can be suffering from a demon, but the demon don't stay with you. Oh, you suffer that he tried, but when the Lord come in, he go. Let's be telling the truth out here. I'm not comforting you people. And it's not my word. And I don't want to lie. Because the Lord is a lot of truth. My Instagram family. Let me carry the God. God bless all of you. Bye-bye. Let me go to my husband. I have girlfriends. I grew up together with. These girlfriends who like to play with people's wife. Who like to try people's life. I have girlfriends who will never marry in their lives. And we know it. It's what I did to other people when we were young. From the age of 18. In fact, from 15, 16, 17, 18. You're, from 15, there, you're a human being. The Lord knows you already. If you can open less for married man. Married man. I love her wife. Don't worry, sister. Every little girl is a woman. Now the things you do to people, it be sweet when you are doing it. But if you knew what is going to cost you, you would have actually vomited this bad seed. You would have actually choked your own neck so you can vomit it out. You think you're Stolly one? Stolly one, no. Stolly one, no. You don't see even Beyonce. The Lord has humbled Beyonce. Satan so used our sister Beyonce in everything and everything. Look at our sister Beyonce now. She's standing alone. They never know you open Beyonce. And all of you are going to watch her fall down like that. You're going to see everything crumble down like that. And the same favorite friend. Who was sending you to enter somebody's house to go and steal? Now the same one who was waking up the owner of the house. Wake up, oh, you have thief. Wake up, oh, you have thief. Some of you, the devil will get you killed. We not play too much, oh, waka. Lord, I thank you for the gospel. Oh. Why you speak the truth? What is I want to cry? I'm going to shed. I want to cry like that. Ah, you are too much, yo. Don't stop your truth, yo. I will never get tired. Even if it's the same song and the same message. Me, I am your royal servant, yo. The same way I loved Ibo before. I love you more than the way I loved Ibo. I love you with my life. I, as long as you speak through my mouth. Even if they laugh at me that I look mad and they make fun of me and whatever they want to say. Father, speak. Self does. You didn't come for the 99. In fact, if I worry about the 99, I would walk. Huh? Now that one, you left the 99 for one. I thank you because you came for me. Huh? And I, man, I love you. You're my Lord. You're my God. You're my lover, my healer, my deliverer, the love of my life. And that's why I speak to you anywhere. I don't even have shame. You don't care who is around. That's why even when I'm walking on the road now, I just speak to you. Because you're my best friend. And I love your ways and you teach me. That you don't set me up for failure. To send me to go and look for trouble. Where my neck will be chopped. I thank you. I thank you. Hey. You are a good God. Oh. Good friend. Oh. Lover, lover, giver. My brothers and sisters, let's carry the God. May God bless all of us. My TikTok family, I love all of you. Eh? Praise the Lord. Somebody said, you make me think of John the Baptist. My sister. It's not you even thinking. The Holy Spirit is just telling you, my sister, you are not the first person and you are not even the last one. Ask Sister Sharon. When I told them that that's what the Lord told me, they said that I speak too much, my sister. And also, the Lord has proven me, those who tried 
Jesus to see that the Lord did the work. I've seen people, some of them are in the grave, my sister. I used to know them, they are gone. Because they thought that the Lord was playing, you understand? And that's why I'm still standing here, preaching the gospel. It's a voice from the wilderness. If they say you are high on the Holy Ghost, I came high on the Holy Ghost. Hello. <laughs> I came high on the Holy Ghost. And it's not about me. It's the love that the Lord has put in me. Because once upon a time, I knew about cyberbullying and all of these things that affect us. I lived a, a reckless life. I was kind, but I didn't care about like the way I care now. I turned the God of Abraham. He opened my eyes deep. And we are all responsible for one another. Judgment day shall be individual. But all of us individually, we are responsible for our brother and sister keeper. And that's why everybody went to heaven. Heaven said it's a party. It was like a feast. A feast. The king invited everybody for a feast. And the Lord said, everybody is welcome. He invited the invitation to the blacks, the white, the Chinese, the gay, the Muslim, the everybody. And the Lord said, take this invitation. And everybody that comes, whoever wants to come with you, bring them along. We are all supposed to bring somebody with us to go back. The Lord will ask us, when black daughters were killing themselves from suicide, and even governments, you will not, Africa, it's not just the people. It starts with the parents. A African mother will hear on the neighbor, they will sit at a funeral that somebody's child killed theirself in suicide. And they'll still go home to their, mother, to their child and say, you know, you're a very stupid, useless thing. You are a failure. You, you're the biggest mistake that I've ever had in my life. African mama. I lie. I lie. I lie. When she heard that her friend's child, older son, killed himself because his brother said he's too broke. Just the way they are too broke, it took him to any graveyard. Hey, let's carry the go. Let's carry the go. Oh, it was a beautiful day. Lord, we thank you. May this knowledge and wisdom never depart from us, Lord. Let it be imparted in our children in our ways of life, in how we live and how we treat other people. Father, even when we see the things that you reveal to us, may we not use it against the people that you reveal the truth about. And also, Father, when we look at people, may we not see things the way our eyes can see. Because, Lord, if these eyes can see that the sky is blue, everybody knows the sky is blue. But what is above? What do people don't see that is beyond the, the, the clouds? Me, Father, I don't want to see what the eyes can see. I want to see what the Holy Spirit can see. I want to hear what the Holy Spirit can hear. Because what the eyes can see, now lie, lie, Lord. That's why there is a way that seemeth right to man, but leads to destruction and death. The eyes can see a woman looking like she's poor, not knowing that that person is going through the worst breakdown and time of their lives. I want to see spiritually that people will not understand. That instead of going to sit at the rich table, I go and sit at the, the commoner table where somebody doesn't even look fine. Where people are judged, those are smoking and drinking, those are not dressed well. That's where I want to go and sit. Because God, the church already have you all. You came for those who don't have you. Let the sinners repent. And those who have already received a heaven ticket, where we shall see you in heaven in Jesus' name. As we have not received ticket though. We are receiving tickets through our way of life. And we are every day. It's, it's a must in our way of life. So we can receive that ticket. Praise the Lord. I pray you understand. Let's close up. Brothers and sisters, I'll see you people tomorrow, by the way, on the grace of God. I hope you have a blessed evening and that God remains a, a audience to you. Huh? That God remains a faithful and gracious to all of you. Don't forget this word. And if you are a mother, please, my sister, your children's marriages, life. If you're a mother who lives with peace and harmony, there are people in the Bible, they were blessed not because they come from blessings, because they deserved it, because of one thing that gave them favor. Their mother. If your mother is a good human being, you can suffer in this life. But God will take that goodness that, and fear of God that your mother has turned. He will put it into grace and mercy. But if your mother is a worker out here, your mother is able to help you to be blessed one day, to be married in a good marriage and to live a good life. Or your mother can be the reason why your own family 
nobody come and bring nobody for to come and respectfully you people to be wives because out of this in the whole entire world any woman can have any other every other job you want but there are only two jobs that the god of shadrach and abram gives mother and the wife you cannot do it on your own it's the lord who gives and the lord gives that by grace and favor Yes, you remember God does not need time or ask anybody for permission. He's able to move and do things by himself. So I'm asking you, mothers, whatever happens out here, I am begging you, treat other people's children the way you would want yours to be treated. Speak to other people's children the way you want to speak to yours. And if you speak badly to yours, you speak to other people's children badly. You also know the God of Abraham. That's what I can say. Let me carry the God. Let's go. My host boy, he's, he's seeing me. Let me go to my Lord. Huh? Sweetheart, I am coming. I know you are washing me, but don't worry, baby. In fact, I don't have to cook today, Sister Sherry. Papa, I make pasta yesterday, so the sauce is extra. Today, you just have to make extra pasta. It's done. Tomorrow is Friday. I'm making them fufu. <laughs> I'm making them sadza, ugari, nishima. I'm making them heavenly food. So that when the enemy come, my children are ready to work out the devil. Praise the Lord, my Tito family now. <laughs> Una praise the Lord. Oh. Una receive joy. When you worship Jesus, Una receive peace. Oh. Rebuke yourself, eh? Don't forget. Don't find yourself fighting people because of accent. You are speaking pigeon English. You are speaking British. The accent has nothing to do with you. If you are actually so pissed about people's accent, the biggest form of witchcraft. My sisters, I just want to ask you, somebody accent that is coming out of their own tongue and mouth, whether they fake or real, it doesn't matter you that to a place where you just want to draw somebody to, to go to hell with you. My sisters, let's pick our battles in Jesus. Let's surrender our battles in the Lord. <laughs> Let me carry the go. Let me carry the go. Idris, I love you, my love. And I love you too, Beverly. And Elvin and I'll some morning. And I'm going to see my brothers and sisters. Elma, baby. Atibwanji, baby. Elma. Elma Ferguson. Sister Sharon, you know, you need to meet Elma. Elma is my friend. We used to go and drink together. We used to go and get burgers together, come back five o'clock. Elma knows me also. Elma, actually, she can confirm that I've always had the love of Jesus Christ in me. Baby. Ati Bwanji, baby. Ati Bwanji, baby. My sister, how are you? Greet your sister Petronella for me and greet your, your, your Mbuya for me and greet your mama for me. My sister, when I come, I'll come and visit you. You people, I never forget you, baby. Hmm? When we are coming out of the clubs before Jesus saved me at six o'clock. Baby, you remember? <laughs> we couldn't just. <laughs> but baby, you used to be a very big drink. That's how we used to call each other with my sister. Hello. We used to call each other with Titus. Titus, the backup singer of Dan. We used to call each other. That's another story, testimonies. Where he went to steal chicken, brought it in my house. So that we can eat the chicken. His grandmama was right behind the chicken. She waited for us to marinate the chicken. She came to collect that chicken while my cousin Mary was marinating the chicken. <laughs> God, oh, you can change people. Don't worry. If they say you are a dramata. I used to be a dramatan. But the Lord has changed me. God is big. Oh, and Jesus is not. I. They said I wouldn't be a wife because I'm too savage. That I would be the husband who look. I am here, I'm a wife who have not even beaten my husband, no once. No once. I only beat him with love. Gorilla kiss. G for gorilla. G for God. Mm. 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 Some of you are too dry heart. I'm sending you Thessalonian kiss. The one that Apostle Paul sent us in Thessalonian. Sister Desi family. <laughs> You want to be my in-law, sister Daisy. I'll see I see you. There's a family. I see you the way you are laughing. You want to be in-law. You have a daughter for me there. We are send your CV. I'll check your curriculum vitae for daughtership. Send your CV. I'll go check. I bring it before the presence of the Lord. Because you heard me. I don't want bitter daughter-in-laws out here. I don't want bitter goats. So please send me the CV. I want to receive daughter-in-laws. I don't want to carry a goat because some people did not marry in-laws. They married spirits. <laughs> Some people are like spirits. That's why those 
that thing they be operating karakara, rapata rapatete. It they be going up and down like Indian hair from here. Oh Jesus! Oh, but don't worry. There is nothing that the Lord cannot cast out. Even spiritual in laws, husbands, wives, brothers, sisters, He cast out in Jesus His mighty name, the Son of the Living God. Let me carry the go. My TikTok family. I'll see you before tomorrow. <laughs> By the way, man, <laughs> love all of you, and God loves you more. May God bless all of you. Keep your peace and don't force anybody. But don't forget, even if they don't want to receive the message of God, you always, it's your responsibility to speak the truth. Even if they leave, they get blocked, they are not there, speak the truth. So that that incident that happened, the Lord said for us who know the truth, if we don't speak the truth when we see what is wrong, the blood of those people shall be on our hands and our heads. Speak the truth. It don't matter who hates you or like you. Speak the truth and stand up for Jesus. Stand up for what the Lord stood up. The Lord stood up against the devil so that you and me may have life. If the Lord did not stand up, Satan would have gloated over us. Stand up for what God stood up for. Whether it is family member, different races, different culture, different background. When you see things that are going wrong, stand up. And those of you who see bad comments, the same way you see women writing bad comments to one another. Be there. That sister might commit suicide. She has enough people telling her she's a failure, she's ugly, this, this and that. Go there in the comments. Write something better. Leave a scripture too. And go to her inbox. Ask her for her phone number. Pray with her and cancel that was what was written as in comments. That way we are going to put the devil to shame. The problem is that we are leaving everything and words are hanging. May God bless all of you. I love all of you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Let me carry the go. Baba, I love all of you. This was so sweet. Too. When the gospel was proclaimed, I always feel so sweet, Idris. I always feel like, like sweet 14. No, oh, Idris. Idri, 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 oh, Idri, Idri, son, Idri, 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 oh, Idri, 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 my Idri, 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 my Idri, Idri, sisters, there's another song I make, and you know, there's something about the name of Sharon, the way it sounds on my mouth, Idris, you know, it does remind me of Idris Alba. But I also know, know that the Lord loved me so much because when you see Idris, Alba, and Sharon, they sound the same accent. So even me, I have my own Idris. <laughs> Leave me alone, no. Not a Lord qualified village woman like me. I will have my own Idris. <laughs> Idris! My own is not Idris, Alba. My own is Sharon Idris. <laughs> Idris! Idris, Idris! I love you, Idris. And I love all of you. I love you, Bevo. I love you, Tobia. <laughs> Bevo is, you know, I call Sharon. She's her nickname for Sharon Idris is Idri. And I understand some people will not even know. They will not even know that I'm calling Idri when we're in public. And then for Beverly, I call her Beverly's. You understand? So it's extra love. I put an S at the end. Beverly's like extra love so that it's many, many pure deep, greater, beautiful love. You understand? Idris, I know you love me. You don't even have to tell. I know you love me, Idris. I know you love me. The Lord tell me. And I also pray that you know that I love you, that the Lord be. May the Lord tell me Idris love me. And that's why I know. And that's why I also tell the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, please, when you speak to Idris, just tell her no, that she, I love her and I appreciate her. Please tell Beverly that I love her and I appreciate her. That's what I do. Amo. Yes, sir. Since the Holy Spirit is the, is the covenant, they the, the communicate. The mentor. Ah, you the one who does speak the truth better than anybody. Let me carry the go, my family. Let's go. Let me go to my home. I'll see all of you. Idris and everybody. Let me carry the go. We have enjoyed to praise. This was so sweet. This man has entered with fire and we're going to go. The, the fire will keep just burning. It will not be quenched. In Jesus' name. God bless all of you. Love you. I love all of you. In Jesus' name.